The outdoor activities that would be the safest would in general be those that allow people to still maintain social distancing even while they're outdoors. The activities that should be considered higher risk would be those where that six foot distance is going to be difficult to maintain. When it comes to activities that might involve sports or games, uh, the kinds of activities, again, where distance can be maintained would be safer than those where it can't. So if you're thinking about sports, for example, kicking a soccer ball back and forth, um, going and playing a tennis match, or otherwise throwing a ball back and forth, playing baseball, playing kickball, things like that, that avoid contact would be the safest sport activities to undertake outside. The things that should be avoided outside would be particularly the sport activities in which contact is almost impossible to avoid. So playing a game of football where contact uh, to tackle somebody else is going to be likely would be less safe. Playing a full on game of basketball that requires having contact with an individual uh, for that game to happen would also be less safe. So again, it really gets at the likelihood of being able to maintain social distancing while you're outside. If families or friends are making plans to social distance outside and share food, that can be done safely. Again, the uh, maintenance of social distancing while sharing a meal like that outdoors should be considered. And families and friends sharing a meal or food outside should just be extra cautious about not having any shared cups, plates, or utensils. As pools might begin to reopen or as beaches are reopening, they could be considered safe depending on what's going to be in place that allows for social distancing. So if a family arrives to a public pool and that public pool is very crowded and it would be otherwise impossible to find space around the pool or in the pool that allows you to maintain some distance from other people in the pool, uh, then that would be a relatively unsafe environment. Similarly, if you go to a beach and a beach is really packed and it's impossible to put a blanket down somewhere that's six feet away from another party, uh, that would be too crowded to really be considered safe. In general, being in the water should be considered safe. Uh, the water in general is not a setting in which this virus is expected to be transmitted via the water. Transmission in the water would still be from person to person. So transmission even in the water would still have to do with physical closeness to another individual in the water.